Welcome how to scrum. This is Safra Zaran. I have put together this course because after my first course uh, how to scrum uh, to be an effective scrum master, I realized that from my experience as a scrum master, I did many projects which were to do with digital transformation. So I felt that it is important to talk about digital transformation and what does that mean as a scrum master. So I put this course together, it's a quick overview, uh, nothing detailed, nothing deep dive, but just give you enough information so that you get good understanding of what is digital, digital transformation and why those, why are the organizations so keen on doing so. So let's go to this uh, uh, deck that shows you why this course uh, was put together and, and what you're going to get out of it. So in this course, I just want to give you a basic understanding of what is digital transformation and talk about normally digital transformation is when an organization decides that what they have in the data centers um, is not going to be effective going forward. There's too much maintenance, too much to take care about. To be at the leading edge technology, they have to move to the cloud. So I'll talk about a bit about the cloud and what are the different uh, cloud architectures, what, are, what is cloud computing. And the three major players that I have come across is Microsoft Azure uh, and Amazon AWS and Google uh, Cloud Platform, GCP. So I'll talk about these three, uh, particularly uh, the uh, cloud provider because they are big ones, but you'll see some others as well. But if, if you can understand one, you'll probably understand the rest of them rest of them as well then i'm going to talk about well how do you decide which application from the data center or the legacy application should be transformed to the cloud and how do you define what is the right application and what do you do what are the steps to do the assessment um, and then i talk about a bit about cloud computing because cloud computing is amazing it's been around for so long amazon probably uh, AWS was put together in the in the 90s, uh, but doesn't get that much kind of recognition until like these days because now everything is talked about cloud. Everything has to be in the cloud. Nothing there should not be any data centers where it's brick and mortar. So I talk about what are the cloud computing capabilities, what are the advantages. So we talk about automation, auto deployment, and some of these uh, kind of terms that you might come across. For example, DevOps. What is DevOps? So we'll talk about that. And some of the tools that they use within the DevOps environment and something like Jenkins and all this on a cube. I'll talk about some of the tools that are used. But at the end of the day, you'll understand basics of uh, why do did, why do transformation? How do you decide an application that is legacy to be transformed? And a bit about the terminology of cloud. So who should take this course? Well, it's for any Scrum Master, of course, but as project manager, as a consultant, you could be part of a team that is take, talking about having a digital transformation. So you need to know a bit about that. So you have a bit of understanding. You understand when people talk about digital transformation, you understand the terminology, you can participate. That's the idea of having this course. Um, so then at the end of the day, you'll, you'll grasp the basics of uh, cloud computing. You'll be able to talk about it. You'll be able to understand what they're saying. You'll be able to participate and add value in terms of what is the right application and how should one choose one application over another. So it's a very good course for, for to take uh, to understand what is, what is the basics of um, trans digital transformation and what is cloud computing. So in this course, I'll be covering the basics. This is the this is the um, uh, the kind of the the structure of the course, um, starting with the overall overall approach to digital transformation, uh, some of the cloud computing architectures, um, and as I said, we talk about the three major cloud providers there, and also I'll be talking about how to how to take an application and what are the questions we should ask uh, when we want to take an application to the cloud. What makes one application a good cloud candidate versus another? Some of the terminologies you might come across is CICD, continuous integration, continuous deployment. This is automation, this is pipeline. I want you to be aware of those things, including DevOps. Uh, so I have a template, I have a glossary of terminologies so that you can understand what they talk, what people are talking about when they mention these acronyms, DevOps, CICD. At the end of the day, as, as part of my first course, I'm always trying to make a course that is making you as a Scrum Master an effective Scrum Master. Anybody can be a Scrum Master, 
But how is one Scrum Master a more effective than another? For me, I always said that a good understanding of Agile principles, Scrum principles is, is paramount. You have to know that. Second thing is, if you don't know technical uh, technical knowledge, you seem to get lost in the conversation because nobody stops and tells anybody what is technically, what is DevOps, I mean, what is that? And no one's going to put their hand up to say, excuse me, what does that mean? Unless you're brave and you do that. But so having a technical knowledge is important. So this course is adding that tool to your knowledge that you have technical understanding of cloud computing, what is DevOps, what is transformation. So having a project management background um, will really, really help because you can see that Agile is very much like taking a small piece of work, iteratively working through that. But project management is good to have because you have a good understanding how to mitigate the risks, how to understand what is effective team member over another. So having a project management experience is also important. So having a good communication skills, working with people. A Scrum Master role is all about working with people. You need to have that skill set, the soft skills to work with people, to make them work with you. And you are facilitated. You are a servant leader. That means you don't have power, but you need to make people work with you and get to the destination. And, we, and you also need to know some about the tools like the Jira and Confluent. These are essential tools that is needed to be an effective Scrum Master. In a nutshell, the how to Scrum to be an effective Scrum Master and digital transformation, all these courses, the idea is to make you an effective Scrum Master. So I hope you enjoy this course and I look forward to taking you through that. Thank you.